What is going on YouTube? Connor coming to you with another course vlog. This time we are out here at the gorgeous Hart Ranch in Rapid City, South Dakota. It is a phenomenal trek. Uh, really excited to be playing out here. As you can see, it's a gorgeous day. We are in November in South Dakota and I am wearing shorts and short sleeve. Wow, that's unreal. I'm really happy to be out here and I'm even more happy that you guys are joining me out here for this course vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's go, let's go out there and meet you on the first tee. First hole of the day is really not that difficult. It's just a straightaway par four, not a whole lot of trouble. It's a good way to get your round going with either a par or maybe a birdie. As is with most holes in golf, if you're in the fairway, you're gonna be in a good spot. But if you miss it left or right and you're in the rough and you have tree trouble, then it's gonna be a lot more difficult to scramble and get that par. One heck of a way to start off the day, baby. Let's go. Fired up. All right, that's a birdie look. Let's see if we can't start off this first hole under par. Let's go, baby. All right, again, fired up another fairway, 106 yards to the pin. Let's see if we can't get another look at birdie. This time, roll it in. Oh, go, I chunked it. Oh, man. Dang it. Yep, so missed it just a little bit short. That's disappointing. So I'm gonna walk y'all through my thought process here. Usually when I'm walking up to the green, I will have two clubs in my hand, my gap wedge and my lob wedge. And depending on the lie and everything around the green, the slope and everything, will determine which club I use. Here, I decided to go with my gap wedge and just play a little bump and run. I don't really have a whole lot of green to work with if I wanted to try and land it on the green and have it stop short. So that's why I go with the bump and run. I want to pick out a landing spot in front of the green so it has room to run up next to the hole or maybe with a little bit of luck, go in. Tough bogey, really wanted that up and down on the last hole. We got a par five. Uh, it's not the longest one in the world, so we're gonna see if we can't reach this and under regulation.
this drone shot was filmed before the round, and so the pin location did move slightly. Okay, did just barely make it over the trouble. 235 yards out, a little bit of a breeze in our face, gonna take an easy three wood at it. A bit of a breeze, it's a strong breeze. You're kidding me. That went right into the lip of the bunker. Oh, wow. So, I've had uh, better lies in my life. Wow, that ball is completely buried. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna get real with you guys real quick. I have no idea how to play this. If you have an idea how to play a tough ball buried in the sand like this, please let me know. Basically, all I did was choke way down on the club, get into it as comfortable as a stance as possible, and try and blast it out as best I could. All I really wanted was to get the ball somewhere on the putting surface so I could have a shot at birdie, but unfortunately I had no control of the ball coming out of the sand and left myself with a really long birdie putt and blasted it by the hole and then missed the par putt. So that is a great example of how you can screw up a short, scorable par five. I hope you were taking notes. Tough way to end that hole with such a promising, uh, such a promising tee shot. And um, an approach just stinks, it got caught in that bunker. Brutal. It's not in the bunker, it's just over it. Yay, I missed the bunker by about two inches. Good times. Come on. Oh. Uh. Needed that. Fired up after that up and down, nearly chipped it in for birdie. So we're going to continue that momentum. I'm feeling good. About a 350 yard par four. I got the big stick out. Let's go for this green, baby. That's a little bit right, but that is smoked. Oh yeah, baby, almost to the green. Oh, slow down. Whoa. What are they doing? What the heck? I am... I feel shocked. That ball rolled through the green. Honestly, I landed it where I wanted to. I just... I don't know what happened. I guess I just misjudged how hard it would hit and roll, but... Oh well. Gotta get up and down again.
That really uh, sucked the mojo out of me. Because <laughs> after that last hole off the tee, I was feeling birdie baby all day, birdie. And walked away with a bogey. Ugh, frustrating. All we can do is just move on to the next one, forget it. is how we start our bounce back baby. Let's go. So we got 189 yards to the pin. I'm feeling a, a stinger here. Just a little bit right of the green though. This green is one of the only greens on the course that has a significant ridge on it. As I'm looking at it, past the hole and to the left of the hole, there's a pretty big drop off. So I know if I go too far or I miss it left, that I'm gonna have a really long par putt coming back. So I made sure to keep this chip a little bit short. I didn't wanna mess with those. And then all you can do from there is just hope that you make the par putt. As you can see, this is just a straight away par three, nothing too bad, just a little bit uphill, and the water is really not in play unless you chunk your shot. So look at this, look at this. That's where my tee was and that's where I struck. So I missed that a little bit. Obviously not ideal. Nowhere close to my best. Didn't come back at all. I mean, I, I don't know. Just darn, darn. Yeah, baby. Honestly, I really like having water come into play on holes. So this hole having to go over the pond and then come up short of the creek, that just makes this hole play that much more interestingly. I had a phenomenal tee shot with my five iron with the wind behind me and came up just short of that creek, put me in a perfect position to go at this pin. All right, drive took us all the way to the end of the fairway. Really, really good spot, 113 yards to the pin. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Had a good look at it. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Let's get this back. Let's get one back. Uh, 
dog. <laughs> Big question for me, can I finish off this round with an eagle? We got a par five. Well, not how I drew it up, but that's a fair way hit, and we got a shot to go at this green and under regulation. Let's go. So I just checked my score, and I am sitting at 35 right now. So that means if I birdie this hole, we're under 40 for the side, and on pace to break 80 for the round. So obviously, that's the goal, is to get a birdie. I think it's alright. I honestly couldn't really tell. I think it's okay though. Sand save time. Fired up, baby. That's a birdie finishing off the side. 39. Let's go. Uh!